class. So today is a TRX fit class. So we're going to focus in on core. Let's take our handles to mid length. The yellow tabs are covering up your diagonal lines. Walk backwards, find tension on your straps. Feet are shoulder width apart and squat. Sit down, drive through the heels of your feet to stand up. Sit down and stand up. So since this is a core class, really focus on alignment today. Shoulders are back, chest is up. Squeeze your glutes, push those hips forward. Nice flat board, lowering down like your back is sliding down a wall and driving to come right back up. Let's get one more squat. Stepping in, handles into your armpits, elbows are driven down and back. Lean back and mid row. Nice flat board. Again, squeezing the glutes. Core is tight, chest is up, shoulders are back. Let's get one more row and then combine it. Squat row, nice straight arms, squat down, drive up, row. Really locking it all in there, chasing that plank. Let's get one more, squat down, drive up, and row. Spin and turn, facing away from your anchors, alternating leg forward lunges, eyes wise T's, right leg and the eyes. Stepping forward, press straight down through your handles to help drive and bring yourself up. On your next one, those hands go wider and now wise. And on your next one, wider and now tease. One more to each leg, right? And left. Standing rollouts, offsetting your stance if you like. One foot in front, one foot behind, leaning forward, allowing those handles to go up above your head. Engage your core to pull back. Really focusing in on that nice flat board, plank position, full range, allowing those handles up above your head. Let's get one more, rolling it all the way out. Engage your core, pull back, and we've got golf rotation. So we're gonna spin and turn, face that anchor again. Feet are nice and close to <laughs> together. Slight bend in your knees and golf rotations. Right arm driven up, then left. Keeping pressure in your handles. One more to each arm, right and left. Standing up nice and tall, hip hinges, press through your handles, reaching forward, right leg is up in the air. Stand up, re-engage, press, reach, left leg up in the air. Standing up and re-engaging. One more to each leg, right and left. Stand up nice and tall, grab a quick drink of water, and when you come back, 
We're going to be adjusting our straps to mid-calf, mid-shin. So we're going to start with some core work right away. <clears throat> so mid-calf, mid-shin on the adjustment means that the rubber handle is right below your knee kneecap and <clears throat> the foot cradle ends up at that mid-calf, mid-shin position. We're gonna focus on our core. We're gonna start with a little body weight activity before we go into direct core work. And we're gonna alternate between five high knees to each leg, and then you're gonna drop down to the ground and get five mountain climbers to each leg. And then high knee, and then mountain climb, high knee and mountain climb, okay? Five to each leg. This is to get us nice and warm. Lift with your core, and here we go. Two, one, going. Once you get five to each leg, down to the ground, nail your plank, and then come right back up. To a diagonal runner. So your hands <clears throat> go gently behind your head. If you can, you lift your hips up. As you pull your right knee in, your left elbow goes across your body to that knee. Straighten the legs out. Left elbow to right knee. Here we go. Two, one, going. Driving across your body. Pulling the knee in and rotating across. You can always rest your hips down if you'd like, but really focus on that rotation coming across your body. Two and one. Coming up. Not really up, just kick your heels out of the straps and then lengthen your straps all the way out. We're gonna stay on our knees and we're gonna go into a kneeling tricep press. So those handles are straight out in front of us in line with our shoulders. Bend at your elbows and press away. Two, one, and going. Really important to focus on allowing the whole body to tilt forward. There's a natural progression here that the butt starts to migrate back and we start hinging just through our upper body. Squeeze those glutes, push your hips forward, chase that plank, nice solid flat board, lowering down and pressing away. Two and 
and one. And now we are coming all the way up. I want you to take your straps to mid length. The yellow tabs are covering up your diagonal lines. We're gonna grab one handle and walk all the way backwards. We're gonna find tension on our straps and we're gonna go into a squat power pull combination. So we're really thinking about our core on this one. We want to extend the arm all the way out, squat down, touch the ground back behind us, and then stand up, pull, and rotate, okay? All right, so pick one hand, square yourself up to your anchor, take a nice wide stance here, and in two, one, going. Squat down, rotate, touch the ground back behind you, stand, pull and rotate. Down, touch, pull, rotate. Down, touch, pull, rotate. Things to think about here are as you are standing up, don't thrust your hips up. You want to stand straight up, driving through the heels of your feet, rotate, touching that strap up above you. Stand, rotate, drive through the heels of your feet, equal pressure in those feet as you are standing. Nice big core rotation as you are coming up. Once you feel that you've got good form, you can then add speed. Two, one, switch arms. And two, one, going. Down, touch, rotate. Again, focus on those hips. Every side of the body is different. Sometimes it takes a moment to make sure that you are not thrusting through your hips to stand up, driving through the heels, standing straight up. Two, and one, nice. Straps are gonna go lengthened all the way out. And we're gonna stand and face away from our anchor. On this next one, we're gonna be taking the handles, bringing them underneath our armpits. So we're gonna lower into a front squat. So we're gonna step back, we want our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna lower into a front squat. And then we're gonna rotate our knees one side to the other, stand up, re-engage, and then right back down. Rotation from side to side. Don't let your knees pin together on this one, okay? All right, lean into those handles. Two, one, and going. Down, rotate those knees side to side. Up, down, side, side. Again, keeping those knees in line with your hips, not allowing them to pin together as we go into these rotations. Squeeze those glutes. Think about that rotation coming through your core, rotating at the trunk, core contraction, obliques stabilizing us, and two, one, mid calf, mid shin. The rubber handles are right below your kneecaps. 
And we're going to go for our first toes in, face down. We're going to find a nice strong plank position. We're going to do two normal crunches where we pull our knees right in between our hands. And then we're going to do two wide crunches where we take our legs apart and pull our knees to our elbows. So two knees, two crunches with the knees coming straight in between your hands, two, knee, two with your wide knees going to your elbows. Nail the plank and in two, one, driving up and going. So two knees, straight center chest, abduct your legs, keep the legs apart, knees to elbows. Feet come back together, normal crunch, abduct, two wide. The slower you go, the more control you have, the more core you are using. Keep those toes pointed down to the ground. Almost there. And two, one, knees down, toes out. We're gonna end with a cardio burst for this round again. We're gonna go, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> we're gonna go into side kicks where we kick our leg from side to side. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. And then we're gonna go down to the ground, cross body mountain climbers. Right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow, driving across our body, five to each leg. So five side kicks to each side, five cross body mountain climbers to each side. Two, one, going. Think about core stability on this. Almost there. And water, nice job. <coughs> Our next round, we're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds to rest and recover, three activities, and then we're gonna repeat the round three times, okay? So our first one is gonna be standing high kicks. Stand, kick, kick, kick. We're lifting our legs up with a nice strong core. From there, we're gonna to go toes in, face down, and you're gonna get oblique crunches. Both knees to the right elbow, reset plank, both knees to the left elbow. And then after that, shake your toes out of the straps, lay down on your back and do heel taps. Feet are gonna be flat on the ground. We're gonna reach for our heels, okay? All right, so we're starting with the high kicks. Two, one, go on. I like to say channel your inner rocket on this one. Lifting with your core, legs coming up nice and high. And down to the ground. Nail your plank. Oblique crunches coming up. And go. Both knees right elbow, both knees left. <clears throat> 
and rest. Heel taps, feet flat on the ground. Shoulders up and go. And come on back up. High kicks again. And go. And down to the ground. Obliques. And go. Keep those toes pointed down. Rotate. Rest, heel taps. And go. Rest. Coming up, third and final set. High kicks, go. Emphasize that lift through your core. Don't let your quads take over. And down to the ground. Last set of obliques. And go. Rest, heel taps, last set here, and go. And rest, nice. Okay, we're gonna keep our straps at mid calf, mid shin. We're gonna start out by grabbing our handles, walking backwards and doing an overhead squat. So I put the, back, the foot cradle against the back of my hand and I lock it in with my thumb. Then I raise my hand straight up overhead and now I go into a squat, sitting down, driving through my heels to stand up. From there, we're gonna go heels, uh, sorry, toes into the TRX, face down, finding a nice strong plank position. And from there, we're gonna go into pikes. Legs stay straight, hips go straight up in the air. After the pikes, kick your toes out of the straps and then leg lifts are gonna be what ends it all for us, okay? So overhead squat, Got our back of our hands against those foot cradles. You're facing your anchor. Raise your hand straight up into the air. And in two, one, going. Drive through the heels of your feet to stand up. Nice, locking it in. And toes in, face down, pikes. And go. Lay. 
leg lifts. Laying flat on the ground, legs straight up in the air. And go. And rest, starting it over, overhead squat. And go. Rest. Toes in, face down, pike. And go. Nice flat boards. Lift with your core. Rest. Leg lifts. And go. And go. Drive through the heels of your feet. Nice flat boards. Rest. Pikes. Last set of pikes. Go. Rest. Last set of leg lifts. And go. Rest and water. Nice job, guys. We've got another round down. straps at mid calf mid shin we're gonna start by going into a side plank we're gonna put our right foot or our right arm on the ground okay so we're gonna do a side plank on our right side so that means my right leg is gonna be behind my left leg and then when we come up we're going to keep our right foot into the TRX, but we're going to take our left foot out, okay? We're starting off with a nice side plank. I'm going to call out transitions between hip drops and a static hold. You decide if you want to add them with me or not. Find your progression on this. You can always kick your feet out of the straps and do the side plank on the ground. All right, here we go. Two, one, drive up, static hold. So I want my top leg, which is my left leg, to be in front of my right leg. My hips are stacked. 
And now hip drop, lower down, drive up. Being careful to keep my hips stacked as I go into the drops. Back to the static hold. Hip drop, down and up. Hold. Hip drop, down and up. And rest. Keeping your right foot in, kick your left foot out of the TRX. And then stand up. Your right leg is going to remain in line with the anchor of your TRX. So now we're going to go into a TRX side lunge. Keep your right toes pointed towards your nose. And we're going to lower down, keeping a nice flat back. Right leg stays straight, left leg bends. Drive through the left foot to stand right back up, okay? So right foot is in, right hip in line with that anchor. Shoulders, core, straight out in front of you. Here we go, two, one, going. Bending that left knee, lowering down. Drive to come up. Be really careful not to tilt through your chest, allowing your chest to come down, but not moving through your hips first. Start with the seat. I'm bending at my knee, lowering my butt towards the ground, keeping my back as flat as possible, driving through my left foot to come up. Get as deep as you can go before your chest collapses to be parallel to the ground. Okay, we're really looking at deep through the left knee and glute. I'm trying to sit down on one leg. And two, one. We're gonna go back into the side plank. This time we're going to lay with our left elbow or arm on the ground. Our right foot is going to be in front of our left foot. And we're going to go through those same progressions of the hold and the hip drop if you can. Here we go. Two, one, up, static hold. Making sure the hips are stacked. And now hip drop. Down and up. Static hold. Hips are stacked. Make sure that top hip doesn't start rotating down towards the ground. Hips are also up. Hip drop. Down and up. Hold. Hip drop. And rest. Nice. Keeping your left foot in. Kick your right foot out. Left hip in line with the anchor. Left toes pointed back towards your nose. Shoulders back, standing up tall. And in two, one, going. Lowering down and driving up. Remember that every part of your body is different. Every side of your body is different. This side might not be willing to go as deep. Again, we want to focus on the chest. Not coming down and just dipping through our upper body. We want to sit down 
Getting as low as possible with a nice flat back. Driving through the right foot to stand up. Focus on a nice solid core. Eye gaze looking up is helpful to keep your alignment. <clears throat> And two, one, kick those heat, that foot out of there. From here, we're gonna keep our straps at mid calf, mid shin, and we're gonna use our foot cradles or our handles to help us come into a V sit position. So I'm sitting and facing away from my anchor, my handles are straight out in front of me. I'm going to bring my legs up into a nice straight leg position and then I'm going to lower down all the way down onto the ground. <clears throat> I can either keep my hands out to my sides, which provides the greatest amount of stability for me. So as I sit up into that V sit, my hands would stay out to my side. If I'd like to make this harder, I lay down and when I come up, I begin to roll my hands forward so that they are in line with my feet as I've come up and then as I lay down, I open them back up towards my sides. Point your hands, put your hands down into the foot cradles or the handles causing equal pressure in the handles and getting ready in two, one, and going. Out to the side, legs come up, lower all the way down. Let your entire body rest on the ground for a second and then come right back up. Again, easier progression, keeping these hands out to your sides. Harder is to bring the hands forward as you sit up while keeping equal pressure in the handles. Two, and one, nice. Grab a quick drink of water, come on back. We've got one more round. <clears throat> when you work your way back, we're gonna go into like how we did that first round, a little cardio burst. Now we're gonna go on to our TRX. We're gonna go with low tuck jumps to start us off. So you're gonna find a plank position on the ground. Feet are gonna be nice and close together. You're gonna hop your feet wider than your hands. Pick your hands up, but keep your hips nice and low. We're thinking about that hop by pulling our hips, our knees in, our legs in with our core. Getting five of the low tuck jumps <clears throat> and then coming up and getting five star jumps. Touch your ankle, explode. As you explode, you're opening up into a big star, working through that core to stabilize through that larger movement. If you're not jumping in the star jump, touch the ankles, drive a leg up, five star jumps, five low tucks. Okay guys, here we go. Five low tucks to start us off. Two, onto the ground, one, and going, plank. Pop the feet wider than the hands.
Take your straps and lengthen them all the way out. We're gonna be standing facing away from our anchor. We're gonna do a chest press on one leg. So pick one leg, balance out your other leg. That foot is gonna be straight out in front of you. Like you're gonna take a step off of a stair or something, okay? Keep your core tight and engaged and lean your entire body forward and then press away. Okay, here we go. Two, one, going. Nice flat board. Keeping that leg straight out in front of you. Locking in with those shoulders, chest. You're still squeezing your glutes. We're keeping that body nice and flat. <clears throat> We've got a few more seconds. We're going to switch legs and go right into it. And two, one, switch, go. Quick transition here. Squeezing the glutes. Really trying to chase through that plank. Almost there. Two and one. Nice. Okay. Straps are going to go to mid length. The yellow tabs are covering up your diagonal lines. We're going to go into an out lunge. So we're going to be standing and facing our anchor. Again, we're going to center up one leg. Our other leg this time is going to kick laterally out to our side. So I've got it abducted out to my side. As I lower down, I keep that leg out to my side and I lower straight down and I drive straight back up. Focusing on core alignment here, not tilting and leaning away from that leg that's straight out to your side, okay? We're lowering straight down, drive straight up. If you need to, put your foot on the ground. Here we go. Two, one, going. Lean back against your handles, lower straight down, drive to stand straight up. Straight down, straight up. I like tapping my toe as I get to the bottom just to make sure that my alignment is there. I don't want my chest forward, lowering down towards the ground. I want to be leaning back, looking up at my anchor, squeezing my glutes, tucking my hips in. two, one, switch legs, and two, one, going. Finding that alignment on this side. Remember that every side of your body is different. This one might require a lot more help from that leg that's out to the side to keep your alignment. Might require less help. <clears throat> 